God rest you, merry gentlemen, let nothing you dismay. Remember Christ our Savior was born on Christmas Day to save us all from Satan's power when we were gone astray. O oh, tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy, O oh, tidings of comfort and joy. In Bethlehem in Judah the blessed babe was born, and laid within a manger of high this blessed morn, for which his mother Mary did nothing take in scorn. O oh, tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy, O oh, tidings of comfort and joy. From God our Heavenly Father a blessed angel came, and unto certain shepherds brought tidings of the same, how that in Bethlehem was born the Son of God by name. O oh, tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy, O oh, tidings of comfort and joy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. My dear friends, we gather here on this Saturday of this Christmas season. We continue to celebrate the Nativity of the Lord. But today, in a very special way, we remember the memorial of St. Andre the Seventh. As we gather here today, reflecting upon God's word and of God's mercy for us, let us ask the Lord for forgiveness for the times when we have refused to forgive others. Let us pray. Lord our God, friend of the lowly, who gave your servant St. Andrew the Seventh a great devotion to St. Joseph, and a special commitment to the poor and afflicted. Help us through his intercession to follow his example of prayer and love, and so come to share with him in your glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, who indeed is the victor over the world, but the one who believes that Jesus is Son of God? This is the one who came through water and blood, Jesus Christ, not by water alone, but by water and blood. The Spirit is the one who testifies, and the Spirit is truth. So there are three that testify, the Spirit, the water, and the blood, and the three are of one accord. If we accept human testimony, the testimony of God is surely greater. Now the testimony of God is this, that he testified on behalf of his Son. Whoever believes in the Son of God has this testimony within himself. Whoever does not believe God has made him a liar, but not believing the testimony God has given about his Son. And this is the testimony. God gave us eternal life, and this life is in his Son. Whoever possesses the Son has life, Whoever does not possess the Son of God does not have life. I write these things to you so that you may know that you may have eternal life, you who believe in the name of the Son of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Glorify the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion, for he has strengthened the bars of your gates he has blessed your children within you. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He granted peace in your borders. With the best of wheat, he fills you. He sends forth his commands to the earth, swiftly runs his word. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He has proclaimed his word to Jacob, his statues and his ordinances to Israel. He has not done thus for any other nation. His ordinances he has not made known to them. Alleluia. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The heavens were open, and the voice of the Father thundered. 
This is my beloved son. Listen to him. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. This is what John the Baptist proclaimed. One mightier than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop and loosen the thongs of his sandals. I have baptized you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. And it happened in those days that Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized in the Jordan by John. And coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens being torn open and the Spirit like a dove descending upon him. And a voice came from the heavens, You are my beloved Son. With you I am well pleased. My brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It is amazing that the scriptures tell us that Jesus went to be baptized by John. Jesus, of course, who had no reason to be baptized. Jesus was without sin. Jesus was perfect. He was the Son of God. And in many ways, what happened is the one who made the waters holy was washed in those waters of baptism. And then God spoke. This is my beloved Son. With you I am well pleased. You know, in many ways, that's what happened at our baptism. That the Lord reached out his hand and he told us that you are my beloved. And because you are my beloved, I sent Jesus to you. Jesus to save you. Jesus, who is the life of the world. It is a beautiful thought to realize that we are God's children and that we are God's beloved. Baptism and that anointing with chrism made us chosen, chosen for God. Today we celebrate the feast of St. Andrew the Seven. Now, St. And Andre, I'm sorry. St. Andre was a man who was orphaned, a child who was orphaned very young. He spent a number of years working in the mills, and eventually he found himself with a religious vocation. So he became part of the Congregation of the Holy Cross in Montreal, Canada. He had a great devotion to St. Joseph, and eventually he was able to found the oratory of St. Joseph, where he became a friend of the poor and a friend of those who were ailing. And so many people from all over used to come to visit Brother Andre. Brother Andre remained the porter of the oratory. And the porter is the one whose job is simply to open the door and to welcome those who come. Generally, it's given to one of the newer members of the community, but Brother Andre kept that his entire life. He had a great devotion to St. Joseph, and he spread that devotion. And because of his kindness, his care for the poor, his spreading of the devotion of St. Joseph in humility, he was elevated to a saint. His heart was so big, filled with love and mercy and compassion. The Church of Lives, Brother Andre Bessette, Saint Andre Bessette, for us to look at an example of humble service, one who was willing to care for the poor, and for the infirm. God gives us eternal life through his Son, trusting in God's care for us. We offer our prayers this day. For the church on earth, may God bless her with an increase in vocations to priesthood and religious life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
For world leaders, may God move their hearts to work for the good of all nations and establishing lasting peace, especially in Ukraine, the Middle East, and other parts of the world torn by violence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our nation, that we may be a people dedicated to human life from the moment of conception to natural death, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who lack adequate shelter, may God in his mercy provide for their needs through generous brothers and sisters, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this community of believers, may the joy of the gospel be a source of light and life in our daily endeavors, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick and suffering in any way, may they be healed. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved dead, may Jesus welcome them to the heavenly banquet to delight in his presence forever. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For your needs, your intentions, that we bring to our heavenly Father in the very silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We now unite our prayers into one. We lift them up to our Heavenly Father. We pray as Jesus taught. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Heavenly Father, your wisdom knows no bounds. Please hear and answer these prayers according to your holy will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things. I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you have already come. I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. And now during this time of unrest and war, let us turn to our Blessed Mother and ask for her protection and for her intercession. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go, announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The shepherds at those tidings rejoiced much in mind and left their flocks of feeding in tempest, storm, and wind, and went to Bethlehem straight away, this blessed day to find, O oh, tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy, O oh, tidings of comfort and joy. Now to the Lord sing praises, all you within this place, and with true love and charity each other now embrace this holy tide of proud christmas all others shall replace O oh, tidings of comfort and joy comfort and joy O oh, tidings of comfort and joy